It's pretty rare to find a fragrance that smells like bananas, but I actually have two of them in my collection. And today I'm gonna let you know if you need to get this one, that one, or both. get into the video I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here my name is Aisha I make videos about fragrance beauty luxury and lifestyle if those are things that you're into please consider subscribing and if you are a returning subscriber hey y'all welcome back to my channel so this video is the second video in my series this that or both in this video I will be talking about two fragrances and we'll go through a few categories about the fragrances and then I'll tell you at the end whether I think you should get one, the other, or both. So I decided to compare these two fragrances because they both feature the banana note and I think they're quite similar. So the first fragrance that I have is this one from the Artisan Perfumer and this is Banna Banana. The second fragrance that I have is from Comptoir Sue Pacifique and this is Vanille Banane. So first, let's talk about packaging. So I have Banna Banana in the 100ml bottle. I'm pretty sure this is the only size it comes in, um, except for like a travel spray. But as far as the bottles, this is how they look. And I happen to really love it. This is a black toned, transparent glass. So you can definitely see through it, but the glass is like black toned. It's very, very nice. It's a sheer black, if, if you will. And then the bottle is in this hexagon shape top is as well and the label is just this plain white um, it almost feels like a linen material but I'm pretty sure it's just some sort of paper but it doesn't feel like the kind of paper that like if it gets wet it would get destroyed hopefully that makes sense but I think the bottle is absolutely beautiful it is hefty um, it feels luxurious in your hand as it should <laughs> and yeah I really love the packaging on this for Vanille Banane from Contour Suit Pacific. This is what the bottle looks like, like all the Contour Suit Pacific bottles look. It is a glass bottle. It is silver tone, but it is a little bit transparent. Hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe hard to see with my lights, I apologize. But the label here is just a plain label on the front. My bottle is a one ounce bottle, I believe. Yes, a one ounce bottle. However, this does come in a 3.4 ounce bottle and the bottle looks the same, it's just bigger. So. Um, I think the 3.4 ounce bottles may look a tiny bit better just because I feel like the cap is more proportionate to the bottle, but overall the packaging is the same. So if I had to pick a winner in the packaging contest, I mean, is there a question? <laughs> but we all know packaging isn't everything, so let's continue on. Now let's get to the most important part, the smell. For Banana Banana, this one smells like banana for sure but it smells like a banana floral. So it may be like banana flower or banana leaf, but it definitely has some greenness, a slight bit of greenness to it, along with the banana. And I also smell a bit of powderiness in this one and vanilla. So this is like a sweetened banana, vanilla, kind of musky scent with a little bit of floral nature to it. Although this is kind of a more simple fragrance, I don't think that it smells cheap at all. And sometimes when we're talking about like sweet gourmand or sweet fragrances, sometimes when they're too simple, I feel like they smell cheap. This one does not smell cheap. This one smells like a high-end banana fragrance. So this would be like your grown-up Laffy Taffy version <laughs> with a little bit of florals and powder mixed in there. Now fragrances can be worn by anyone, but I think it's important to give you guys my take on if it's masculine, feminine, or unisex. And I think this is probably more feminine. I just can't imagine a man wearing this scent, although it is technically marketed as unisex. I can't imagine a man smelling like this. So Vanille Banane is more of a candied banana scent. To me, this smells like banana Laffy Taffy. And I'm, I'm not saying that in a bad way because I actually really love the way this smells. So yeah, it definitely smells like that sweet Laffy Taffy smell. So this is a mix of banana and vanilla. And then there's also some rum in this fragrance and you can definitely smell all of that at the beginning. However, as this fragrance dries down and wears on your skin, in my case, I lose that banana. Not immediately, but I lose it probably about two hours into wearing this fragrance. Um, but 
the initial spray this one is very like laffy taffy scented and then as it dries down it becomes more of just like a vanilla with some rum in the background now i do think this fragrance is unisex i still think it leans a bit more feminine but because of the rum in this i kind of feel like i can picture a man wearing this a little bit more than banana banana um however i still wouldn't want my man smelling like this but you know i've never smelled this on a man so don't let that statement discourage you i just could not picture my man wearing this it to me it still smells a bit more feminine so now let's talk about projection and longevity i'm just going to start out by saying that neither one of these fragrances have beast mode projection or longevity what i have been doing with both of them is layering them with a banana scented lotion the one that i have here is i don't even know the brand but i'm gonna show it to y'all i picked this up from tj maxx i was just walking through the little uh body care section and saw it and saw it was banana scented and i picked it up and it's a win-win for me like this was only 5.99 it smells like banana candy it smells very good and it's actually pretty moisturizing um now i probably wouldn't use this like on my feet like my driest part of my body but i have used this all over my body like my arms and legs and have not experienced any dryness and my skin is pretty dry so i think it does a great job unfortunately i'm probably not going to be able to link to this um i believe it's a korean brand um but if you see this in your local tj maxx pick it up and I'm sure if you can find any other banana lotion, it will work in the same manner. And I really think that it has helped to extend the life of both fragrances and it goes well with both fragrances. Now, there are some differences in longevity and projection between the two, so I'll get into that. Um, for Banana Banana, I do find that this one lasts on my skin probably about six hours. And I can smell the banana note the entire time in this one, so I think that's something to note. To me, this one remains more true to the first spray um, than Vanille Banan. This one is more of a linear scent and I don't mean that in a bad way because I love the opening of this so I'm glad that it lasts. And like I said, it lasts about like six hours on me. Now, as far as projection with this one, people can smell this on me but I have to admit, when I wear this alone, I feel like no one can smell it on me. However, when I layer it with that lotion, I get compliments on this <laughs> and I think it's because it's not a scent that a lot of people are used to smelling who's used to hearing smelling like banana fragrances so I think that this projects probably about four feet um, so not super far it's not a loud fragrance it's not going to announce you're coming before you get there so keep that in mind but with the lotion I think this is a decent performer as far as projection and longevity go now with Vanille Banan, this one does not last that good. <laughs> On my skin, I get about four hours total out of this fragrance. And like I said, the banana kind of goes away after about the two hour mark. Now, I have a small bottle. So before I got Banana Banana, I had no problem with the projection and longevity of this because I knew what I was getting into. So if I really wanted to touch up with this, I could stick this in my purse. I could decant it, you know, whatever, whatever. It would be fine with me. But I know that projection and longevity is really important to some of you all. So I definitely like to always talk about it. And this one, like I said, not good longevity. It lasts about four hours on my skin. But after about two hours, the banana goes away. And this one to me has like basically no projection. I do think people can smell it on you when you first spray it because my husband has complimented me on this before. But that was like literally me spraying it in the same room as him. Other than that, nobody's ever mentioned it. But I can smell it on myself when I wear it, which I think is actually more important than other people smelling it. Um, however, me being able to smell it on myself without it becoming a skin scent is only about two hours. Then it becomes more of a skin scent. Not a huge problem because I think of this more as a novelty scent. <laughs> however, um, I'm sure that makes a big difference to some of you all. So there's a huge price difference between these two fragrances. Banana Banana retails for $185 for a 100ml bottle. Vanille Banan does come in a 100ml bottle 
and for the 100 ml bottle that one retails for 85 dollars now i only have the one ounce bottle and this one retails for 42 dollars but i wanted to compare like apples to apples for you guys so the 100 ml bottle is 85 dollars in this so that is a hundred dollar difference between these two fragrances and i have to say they smell pretty similar of course they're not like full-on dupes they do smell pretty similar so keep that in mind there is a hundred dollar price difference between these two all right so we're at the end here so it's time for me to tell you if you should get this one that one or both for me i enjoy both fragrances and I will be keeping both in my collection, but if I had to choose one for myself, it would be Banna Banana. I think it just smells a lot better. It lasts longer and I can enjoy it more because I smell it more when I'm wearing it. However, if you are the average person and you're just looking to play around with banana, you don't wanna spend a lot of money and you don't even know if you're gonna like a banana fragrance, then the Nee Banan is not a bad choice. This is the one that I would pick if you can only get one and you're looking to just try out a banana fragrance. I think that in these videos, it's important for me to share which one I prefer just because you know you guys are watching so you wanna hear my opinion. But I also like to share like what would be the best for the average person. And in my opinion, the average person can stick with Vanille Banan. You do not need both of these. I'm gonna keep both because like, if I were to get rid of them, rid of one, it would be Vanille Banan. But at this point, I kind of feel like I can stick with both. I'll wear this and if I'm going to be out all day and don't want to like decant this, then I'll just take this in my purse and touch up with this. Even though they're not the same, I do feel like I kind of get the same vibe from them. So I hope that's not too confusing for you guys, but I feel like it's important for me to share my opinion of which one I prefer, but also for me to share which one is probably the better buy for... 90% of people watching this video. So in that case, Vanille Banana is probably the better buy because I just feel like banana is kind of a more novelty fragrance. I would not consider either one of these fragrances every day. It's not something I wanna wear every day. And so in that case, I think that most people would be good with just buying Vanille Banana and not having both. So those are my thoughts on my two banana fragrances. If you own either one of these, please let us know in the comments down below. What do you think about them? Have you smelled them before? Do you think they're that similar? Do you think they're too similar to have both? Do you prefer one over the other? Let us know down below. My opinion is not the only opinion that counts. So I'd like to hear from you guys as well. I'm sure that would help some other people. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We are super close to 10K and I honestly cannot believe it. So make sure you subscribe. If you've watched more than one of my videos, you should go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's free. Also, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I do like to share more things over there on the go. And it's just a quicker way for me to communicate with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.